All right, guys. I'm going to show you how to set your valve blast on a 212 Hemi Honda clone. <clears throat> so what you do is take out your spark plug. Take out your spark plug. Put your finger over the hole, spark plug hole. Turn your crankshafts until you feel it push against your thumb pressure push against your thumb. That is your compression. Okay, when it stops pushing, take your finger off spark plug hole because that's where you need to set it. And remove your nuts on the lashes you want to measure. Oh, and there is a lash cap under these rockers. You make sure it's on your exhaust side. I've made that mistake already before. So what you should do prior to doing this, prior to messing with the bolt and the nut, you don't want it it's coming loose and then you wonder why it won't start or stay started once it warms up, do you? I know I sure don't. I absolutely hate it. So I don't have lock tight, but I have something called thread lock. It's blue, semi-permanent. It does the job. It does it good. Red is permanent and cheaper. I've never used it. It's 50 cents cheaper for two ounces. They're actually .20 fluid ounces, six milliliters. Small bottle, but it gets the job done and it serves multiple uses. So it's actually decent for the price. So, of course, you shake it up like I just showed. And you only put a drop. One drop. Just under the nuts. And then spread it around. Okay, I'm going to use two drops. And spread it on the threads. <coughs> Now it takes about two hours to harden, but for it to fully cure and completely dry, it's going to take a whole 24 hours, but you can use it after two hours. <coughs> so now you want to screw in the bolts until it touches the valve stem or on the exhaust side of the lash cap. Okay, and now that it's touching, you don't want it to be touching the valve stem or lash cap. So you take your feeler gauge, get it on standby, tighten up your thread lock so it doesn't dry out. And you loosen the center loosen it and when you do that you tighten the nut so there's no chance you would get too much lash or too little lash get your feeler gauge depending on your cam specs it's either two thousandths or three thousandths Mine is three thousandths. If you're stock, you will be two thousandths on the intake, three thousandths on the exhaust. So mine being a three. I'm going to loosen until I can fit my gauge in there. Okay, it's too loose, too freely, so I'm going to tighten this up. I'm going to tighten it a little too much and then I'm going to back it out little by little until it's perfect. Okay, now it's too much. Back it off a little more. Perfect. And I'm going to leave it there just in case I accidentally tighten it too much during the process. Now hold the middle bolt steady all while tightening the nuts.
Oh, this may be a bit slow. But it has to be done good, perfectly. You don't want your intake to be open when your exhaust is open, especially when warmed up. Otherwise, you ain't going nowhere. <laughs> You'll be able to move before it's warmed up, but once it's warmed up, you won't be going anywhere. Okay, now that's set. Let's get it one more good twist. Pull them both opposite directions. Make sure they're tight. Alright, that's set. Three thousandths. Ah, oh, it's a little too loose. It's too loose. Well, anyways, that's how you set your valve lash. <clears throat> that's how you set the valve lash. You do the same on the other side. Leave the lash cap on the exhaust. And set yours to three. All cams, exhaust lashes, three thousandths. I hope that helps.